In this no rest for the wicked video, I'm going to be going over my unkillable reflect knight build. This build is designed to make it so you can never die and can complete every single bit of content available currently in no rest for the wicked. We take advantage of the false dead shield and tons of rings and reflect damage to deal insane amounts of damage to enemies who dare to hit you. We also build extremely heavy into armor, HP and healing effectiveness, meaning even when you're surrounded by the strongest of enemies, your HP not only sustained but you generally out heal the damage. This isn't a high DPS speedrunning build but you will beat everything in the game and feel like an unkillable god doing so. Let me show you how to make this build. All right, now we're over in the gear section and on the left, I'll have the crucible run. So you'll be able to watch the full thing in this video quickly. Let's go over our stats first, because I think that's much more important. So we have 37 points in health, 15 in stamina, 42 in strength. That's the, um, I think the most you'll need for any piece of gear. Ideally, I wouldn't have this much in faith. I was going to go strength faith at the, at the beginning, but you know, I end up going full strength. So don't do that. And then we have 25 in equip load. Should be okay. You're going to be heavy. You're never going to get that under normal unless you get a lot of like uh, weight reduction stuff. But we were not lucky enough to get it. On our HP, we have almost 250 HP. We're eating food to get uh, 45 of that. But naturally, you'll have about 201 HP. That's more than enough for anything. I don't think I've ever seen a build with that much HP. But yeah, we have 750 armor, 33 poise. Pretty good resistances across the board. And then uh, not too much on stamina or focus. That, that isn't important. We don't use any focus at all in this build. And uh, yeah, we have pretty solid solid stats all overall. Don't worry about the corpse smear. This is not relevant. So I'm going to go over the armor first because that's important to breaking down the weapons. So for our armor, we have a heavy plate helm. This has chance to heal whenever you take damage. It gives me some equipment load because I don't want to be like over encumbered too much. Uh, and it also came with item weight decrease, so it's kind of good. We also have negative experience gain, but it doesn't matter. We're max level. And I think this one is good. And uh, the one experience loss on damage taken is good too. Because this is a nothing negative once you reach max level. And those are the best ones to get. Uh, we put a healing effectiveness on our helmet. Because everything we do heal. Uh, you, you've already seen two pieces. We'll go over the chest again. But as you can see, everything is giving me health whenever I take de uh, deal damage or take damage. Um, and so it's really important to have healing effectiveness on as many pieces as you can. So that whenever you do get healed, you, um, you'll you just take, you'll get a bunch of healing. That's why you'll notice whenever I take any damage, if I do take any damage, I actually heal in a lot of cases more than they actually deal damage to me. For our chest, we're going with a knight armor set. Uh, ideally heavy as possible. We put a uh, gem a ruby in there to get the extra health. We got a really good roll on it, 15%. Then we have chance to gain 15, 14% uh, uh, health on it. We have focus gain increased by 14. That's kind of wasted, but whatever. And then we got some speed, which is not bad. We're heavy, so some speed goes a long way. It doesn't really matter too much. The health is what's important, not getting something that like hurts you. Um, and that's where the experience is super good. So uh, that's what we got looking good for our pants. I got really lucky on my pants. Uh, I got all resistance increased by 24%. So really high all resistance roll. Chance to gain 12% health on damage taken. Once again, we have a reflect on this bad boy, which is also really good. And then we have some stamina, which we definitely needed a bit of because our stamina is a little lower than I would like it to be. It's not that crazy that if you don't have this, you'll, it'll be bad. But, you know, I would like more. And then we got focus loss on damage taken. I wish that was like experience, but it is what it is. We'll get something better later for our gloves. Oh, and then I put a gem that gives a, a feather. I don't think that was worth it. Could have got something else like armor on it or something. But uh, yeah, go with whatever you want on that. For our gloves, we have uh, the knights again, Eversoul, Eversoul Knights. I love that set. I think it's like super cool looking and very good. But uh, this one gives 4% stamina on damage dealt, and this is good for sustaining your stamina uh, while you're blocking. So it's really nice. I got some healing effect increased by 30%. Super, super, super good. Very happy I got that. Uh, item weight decrease, again, giving me the ability to wear heavy armor and not to worry about like my, uh, my weight too much. And then we have reflect again, because we want to reflect as much damage as possible. Super good. And then we got experience loss on damage taken. Again, a nothing negative. I love the experience loss degen thingies because they are basically negatives once you hit level 30. 
That's where other things like you take extra damage is always permanent. So really, really good uh, negative to have. Um, we don't put a gem here because all of them are parry based. So put whatever you want in there. You could put armor. I may just slap an armor in on that one. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're going for with this. For our ring, we have the rest of ring. This is take damage, deal damage on damage taken. I, that's pretty self-explanatory. We're always standing there and wanting things to hit us. So it's going to give us some damage. We have a fierce ring. This one is going to give us increased armor. Armor is very valuable. We don't know the formula for armor. So I don't know what the cap is. I don't want to go too crazy on armor. But I feel like 750 is a good spot. Um, so it's really nice. And then, uh, of course, we want to cover our resistances. So that's good too. And then we have some damage dealt by 15%. Because we are a strength-based build. All of our weapons are strength-based. And we can do some reasonable damage on our uh, left click. It's not like crazy like other builds that you'll see. But it's good. Finally, we have the snake ring. Blocking attacks, taking deals damage. We're always blocking anything. And uh, as you'll see in the footage that we just pretty much do, you know, don't take damage. And we deal a ton of it because things hit us. Really nice. For our shield, this is objectively the most important. I got a really high roll on it and I got lucky on my gem. But what this does is whenever you... Um, Whenever something hits you, you'll take them. They'll, they'll take damage rather, and then you'll have increased focus on blocked attacks. I can actually still sustain uh, focus because I got two focus things, so it's not actually a bad thing to have it. Um, but uh, this negative, I mean, this one's not terrible because I do get some decent focus gain with this, so it's not terrible. Um, and then we got gain three percent health on block. This is amplified by all of our HP. I think it is. I, I'm not sure what the formula is right now. It should be working, but I feel like it gives me way more than 3%. And so this will help sustain you whenever you block and you're always blocking because you want to deal damage. It's really great synergy. For our weapon, you can go with other things. I think like for the, the second boss guy. Oh, and, that, and that's where you get it from. The second boss guy, this guy. Valus dead. The big guy with the shield that transformed into a tentacle monster guy. This is who will drop it. Um, you can use his sword if you want to. I'm not sure if I would use it personally, but I, yeah, you can use it. Ideally for his sword or for your sword, I would go with something like this that just gives HP uh, whenever you deal damage. This one give me 3% HP like whenever I hit. So this is a great way to sustain because you can, I'm not sure if you're seeing in the footage. I don't know where it's at. Um, in the footage, but you can pretty much trade with enemies if you want to. It's not a big deal because you're regenerating like more than 3%. It's like 5 to 6% based on my healing, I think. But it's really nice. Um, I also put an emerald in it so that I can have more stamina whenever I hit. This weapon swings pretty fast, as you can see in probably the footage. I'm not slow on attacking, so I can get some decent stamina regen out of it. Um, whatever you want to do with the runes is up to you. I don't, I don't think it matters. Um, but, and I put a, yeah, I already told you, I put the emerald in there. Just so I can have pretty good, uh, stamina region. But that is pretty much the build. That's all the stats, that's all the build. Um, and yeah. Let me know if you have any questions. Also, if you have any, like, requests on, like, a build you want to have on the channel, let me know. I'm already working on a light armor set right now. And so, you'll see a light armor build pretty soon. But yeah, if you liked the video, leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next No Rest for the Wicked video and enjoy the rest of the, the video. Later.